And that will kind of be the pattern here as we move our way through Advent of probably a, a scripture from the Hebrew Testament that looks at the promise of a Messiah, and then one of the New Testament stories that tells us of the arrival of that person. So probably both very familiar passages today. First reading at Isaiah 11, the first six verses, we find these words. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist, and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. And then reading from the Gospel of Matthew, starting at the 18th verse in the first chapter, we find these words. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be the child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, Son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the young maiden shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. And when Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded and took her as his wife. And may God bless to our hearing and our understanding these words from our scripture for today. Thank you. 
think much about it then. But then she realized that every time they took something to the marketplace to sell, it seemed as if this carpenter would come and make a purchase. And eventually got to the point where he would even try to make a conversation, more so with Mary than with Aunt. And so it should probably come as no surprise that not long thereafter, the rabbi came to visit us, telling us that Joseph had approached him, asking him about the possibility of taking Mary as his wife. Well, Anna and I was, were pleased when, when we heard this news, but but then we had to stop and, and think. Joseph was quite a bit older than Mary, not, not terribly younger than I am. How would she feel about that? And so, so we had a conversation with her, and she said she was open to the idea. And so we decided to, to invite Joseph over to our home for a, an evening meal to to get to know him better and, and to make sure that this was the right man to marry our one and only beloved daughter. And I must tell you, during the course of the evening, it became very apparent that indeed Joseph had feelings for Mary. He could scarcely take his eyes off of her. <laughs> and seemingly, even though he is much older, Mary showed clearly that she had feelings for him as well, responding to his gaze with a very warm and affectionate smile. So it wasn't 